Hi everybody, my name is Horia on Miro's Developer Advocate Team. Today, we're gonna to take a look at creating your first Hello World full stack application within Miro. So I'm gonna show you the demo of the, uh, the Hello World app and then we'll go right into it and stick around at the end. I'll do a full code walkthrough. I'll explain some of the scaffolded code for you. Let's get into it. So here I have my full stack app running on localhost here. Um, I, if I click on add a sticky, it'll just call one of our web SDK methods and add a sticky to the board. If I click on this login button, it will uh, go through the OAuth flow and I can add the app and then it'll actually complete the OAuth flow. And now it'll read some of the boards that I have on this developer team using Miro's REST APIs. And you can see um, you've built your first hello world full stack app. And these are the boards that I have. Um, so yeah, very simple demo, um, but it's a great way to get you started quickly. And I'm gonna go through all the steps now. So first things first, we're gonna have to uh, go ahead and use Create Miro App to scaffold our code. So now we're gonna use NPI Create Miro App to install this package. Next, we're gonna do NPX Create Miro App at latest, we'll call this full stack hello world. This is important, you're gonna to need to choose the Next.js framework. This is our full stack framework. And I'm just gonna choose JavaScript. Okay, so now we need to, we can uh, go ahead and open the .env file. So we need to fill this out to initialize the Miro object. So here is our app. We need to create it on the Miro developer portal. And if you don't have a developer team, go ahead and create one now. I'll have that link in the description. We'll also want to expire user auth token for security. Now we can use this client ID and client secret. And these will be used to actually um, authenticate into our API and to create um, a link to the Miro API. And I'll show you that later. And now, we can go ahead and do uh, CD into the project, do npm i to install the dependencies and then npm run start. And that's more or less it. So if I click, this is the back end of my app and here you'll see that it's already authenticated because it's storing the cookies uh, in my browser session. And now I can go back into, um, I can go back into one of my boards and I'll look for the full stack Hello World app. So here's our full stack Hello World app. And you can see it's already authenticated into the REST API since we already went through that OAuth flow and it stores those cookies in our browser. Uh, and then if I click add a sticky, that's gonna be using our web SDK. All right, so that's basically how to get the app running. Now let's dive into the code a little bit so you know where to uh, update your code for front end changes and where to up your, update your code for backend changes. So um, our app is gonna be scaffolded into this source directory. And you can see in the package.json, it's using next.js uh, 14. And uh, here are some of the scripts. And uh, in the utils is actually where we initialize the Miro API. Um, so this is going to, uh, Here's the Mirror API, and this is using the Node client library with Express. Um, and if you watched the previous video on the REST API, I, I talked a little bit more about it here in that video. Um, and this is basically starting that new Miro instance, uh, and it's using uh, cookies to authenticate. And in the components, we also uh, actually initialize the SDK. So this is where if you click on the if you click on the app icon, that's when the app starts. And here we just have a SDK usage demo, and this is the add sticky. So you can see that we're using the web SDK um, create sticky note method, and we're using zoom to to actually zoom into the sticky note. And that's also in our documentations, and I'll link that in the description. And the meat of the app is really in this app directory. And this is the Next.js uh, way to structure your app. So you have the API. So this is the back end. 
So this uh, is essentially a slash redirect. Um, that's that route. So this route uh, is going to basically, if you look at slash redirect, that's where this code um, will run. So you can see it's going to just be using this API method exchange code for access token to complete OAuth. And now this is the main front end portion of the app. This file, the layout.jsx, defines the layout for all the files in the app directory. So this is gonna be something like any, any of the pages that may have common elements like a footer or a header, this will kind of keep your app uniform. So it'll define that layout. And then you can see this is where we're doing the get all boards as well. So in this video, we learned how to run the full stack Next.js application for Miro's developer platform. And you learned how to use both the back end to get boards and also use the front end uh, to actually create a sticky note and zoom into that sticky note. And you learned how to use that Next.js framework to structure the code and to be able to add in more APIs or more routes. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.